Well, hello, this is Fat Guy Flies RC coming to you from the man cave. Got an unboxing, yeah, the plane. And this is the unicorn. Very much the unicorn plane. It's like trying to find the plane that's sold to you by a Bigfoot who just played the same winning lottery number six times in a row. That's right, this is the Cessna Hobby King Cessna TTX 1100 millimeter. Bobby King had this on sale, kind of bug in here, about, about two weeks ago. It was on sale for like three days and for I think $114. I bought it the next day, gone. I, I don't even know how many there were, but it was only on, on the website. And I, I check Hobby King, all the major sites, I just check them every day. This was only on the site for maybe a day or two and it was gone and uh, not even listed. I couldn't even find it after I bought it. Well, here it is. Now, I had this a couple years ago. And before I, well, about three or four years ago, actually. And uh, flew the mess out of it. Loved it. I mean, you've got this little 1100 millimeter plane that has lights and flaps and flies amazing and is a beautifully scaled plane. And I flew the dog mess out of it and I ended up selling it. And uh, because it was so small and trying to film it on a little hat cam, you know, no one could see it. And, and not trying to toot my own horn, but my skills weren't good enough to keep the plane in closer to where I could actually see it on my hat cam. Now I have a better hat cam and then I have the part-time wonderful camera lady filming for me. And I saw it and I said, I want it back now that I've got a better format to present it. And just by chance, I got it. So... We're gonna unbox it now. I have un, I've opened this up already, but I haven't taken anything out of the box. Everything is still sealed the way it came out. I just want to make sure nothing's wrong with it. I mean, because it's such a. So if you keep it on, if you keep it on these sites and you see this thing, jump on it. It's an amazing little plane, and it was only like I said, only 114 dollars. So that's a plug and play. I'll go to slap a receiver in her, and she's ready to go. But. Uh, yeah, it, and, and and just it's one one of Hobby King's better, better planes in my opinion. Um, she flies great, single, single wing. Okay, I'll go ahead and open while we're filming. I'll open all these things up. Oh, got a battery. Uh, getting them down there. I do remember one drawback with this plane, and it's not really so much just if you're aware of it, there won't be a drawback for you. And is that this is a quick connect type wing. So in other words, these two um, plugs will tongue and groove in, and then you've got these electronic quick connects that just seat down the bottom side of the under, undercarriage. And what you have to do, and they're, they're, they're springy, they got some spring to them. So what you're gonna have to do is I found that the connection can easily be broken. Mine came unbroken, uh, un came broken in flight. And I suddenly went to a tail control airplane. And, it's, and uh, so I wasn't ready for that. Luckily I didn't crash, I was able to land her. So what you need to do is when you put the wing on, you wanna really anchor them bolts in nice and tight so that and maybe even shave a little bit of this top foam, maybe a little sanding block or something, just enough where those make a little bit better connection. But this foam is absolutely fabulous. Tape is up, coming up a little bit, but that's from heat. But you've got these uh, slotted Fowler flaps, which are awesome. Um, what's, nice, what's nice about that is that way you ch you don't lose your, your as much control with the flaps, but at the same time, because the air gets to flow through them, but you still have a good air brake installed. And uh, actually the wing's a little bit bigger than I remember. So nice stripes underneath for orientation. Very wide. This is very similar, comparable plane would be the uh, Cessna or the, or the, the Cirrus SR-22T. But of course, that's a larger plane. Now this little plane, you do have to glue in. You've got the CA uh, tape hinges. 
that you'll actually have to glue into the rudder, which is no big deal. Um, it does come with two three-bladed props where the props are painted, which is nice. Okay. Very nice uh, horizontal stabilizer. And just to, to show you just a little touch of quality here with this uh, horizontal stabilizer. Sorry about the beep. Um, is not only do you have a carbon spar within the main meat of the, but, you, but you've also got one that runs the length of the control service also. Remember you always work your foam hinge. This is a foam hinge um, but this is a very very light little plane so not to be too worried about. Don't forget there's a nice chrome plastic spinner. Um, you got an Allen wrench there uh, more hex wrench, which will operate the, uh, I think the only two screws that you need to hold the wing in. And uh, that's those black, black screws that are in there. Okay. I'll clean up my, my debris. Landing gear, eh, that leaves a little, a little bit to be desired, but um, of course it's going to be very noisy. So you've only got how much surface you've got. So this is not going to be a uh, grass plane unless it's like AstroTurf. Okay, uh, very scale, plenty strong for this size of a plane. Always check all these little crevices, make sure that you're not leaving anything out. And you've got the main, the main body of the fuselage here. A little bridge of uh, foam there. All right. And we got the main body. I think, like I say, the gear, those gears already um, supported for it, already there. Now, you could remove this little leg pant here because the shaft goes around and goes in, into the middle of the hole. Of the wheel, so you could take this front off, and and the same, yeah, you could do the same for the rest of this. You could take um, because the main shaft goes up through there. Take them two screws out, take off your collar or your wheel pant, and then um, you still got your wheel. You'd have to come up with a collet or some something to hold the wheel on. Both the same for the uh, nose gear, but that would be fine. And here's what I was talking about, those connections. Those are just flat connections. Very, they, they look very similar, about the same size of a, 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 a what's it, SDIM card, a, D, a little, little uh, SIM card on your phone. So see these wing just tongue and grooves in there. And then that is just a compression fit, and you want to make sure but that is very secure, just to give you an idea. And then, of course, you see that channel Whoa. is going to, you will put your stripe sided down. Okay. That's going to fit in there like that. And then, of course, you've got these little slots that are already made for your rudder. And, uh, and then your gear, you know, I didn't, you know, I guess you didn't know that this was going to be a, and you have these little, uh, little adapter things. Well, no, you don't. Okay. Then it just has some screws there that kind of, uh, the, the flat part of the screw holds in the gear. That's pretty much the, the plane right there. I mean, she's not big. Top loader. So that's always nice. Um, you got a little antenna bits and stuff that you'll glue on. Figure out how to get this top off of here. There's not a latch. It must just be really strong magnets. 
Yeah, just a very strong magnet. Um, XT60 connector with a 30 amp ESC. You've already, that's a nice hardwood plate there. Everything is labeled for you. You're going to run a 1300. I guess you could put up to a 2200, but I'm probably going to run like an 1800 in there. And the battery, it's even labeled for you battery uh, spot. So that's the gist of the plane. You're going to glue on the tail and the uh, rudder. You know, you got your props, and you got your, your spinner, and that's pretty much it on the plane. There's nothing really. Um, you can saw how quickly I put it together, and uh, of course I'll have to go there and secure everything. Now. Very strong magnet. I hide, that's a plastic cow. This is all plastic. So, and it's very, it looks pretty good. Kind of narrow as far as the way it looks. So, UFPV guys, you may have to do something different with that because the, you don't have, there's a, the dash covers up a lot of the view. You'd have to get your camera closer over the dash. But, uh, I mean, you've got lights here, you've got lights here, you've got lights uh, down here, nav lights. So, it's got three lights. It's got slotted foul or flaps, steerable nose. Very light little plane, 1300, 1800 uh, milliamp, 3S, and uh, well, you just very simple plane should should fly very uh, stable in scale. So I, I do remember, however, this plane being a fairly fast little plane for such a small plane. She she scooted right along, um, but I'm going to get her together. I mean, you just saw the basic build of it, so. <laughs> You know, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make good and sure that this connection is nice and tight. Um, I'm going to secure this gear in a little bit better. So there's, two, there's two screws you put in there. And then you glue on some little scale antennas and steps and stuff. And then, of course, I'll CA in uh, the rudder. And uh, typical connections. Well, it does have little, uh, little rubber gaskets to slide over your clevis. So that's a nice touch. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and secure, uh, finish the build, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Hobby King TTX, Cessna TTX, which, like I said, is comparable to the Cirrus SR22T, just in a smaller, great-looking package. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and God bless y'all, and don't forget, they family and friends, and planes. Well, hey, folks, back at Flyers RC. Well, we're back to the Hobby King uh, TTX. Got her all put together, as you can see. Um, beautiful plane. Got the uh, flashing nav lights on either end. Got the front forward facing uh, uh, landing light there. Um, CG for this plane. Now, understand this is a Hobby King plane, so you don't get a manual in the box. You have to go to the website, to that plane, and download the, the file, which I did. Displayed on the computer. The, the uh, CG is 35 to 45 millimeters back from the leading edge of the wing right here. So right there on that first spot there, first dot, that is 35, and that second dot is 45. And I've got a, a um, 1300 milliamp battery in there, and she pretty well uh, balances just fine on there. Now, she already has the shelf liner down that a lot of people like to use. So, like I said, and, and that battery is in there nice and secure. Very strong strap that's secured on this metal or this pet. This wooden tray back there. I'm running a Lemon RX second generation with stability. Only the AS3X is all I've got using. I mean, it does have um, self-level and all that, but I don't have that enabled. I'll be honest, I haven't really studied on how to do that. 
I just have it uh, for just the AS3X version of gyro, just wind mitigation. So the control surfaces will react against, like when this this, this aileron goes up, it goes against my finger just a little bit. And same thing with the elevator, and the same thing with the rudder. Uh, you know your gyro is working right as the control surface goes against the direction. In other words, if, the, if this wing goes up, the uh, control surface should go against that to push that wing back down. That's the, that's the stabilization. Now, if it was self-level, then that control surface would stay up until the wing leveled or the plane leveled. But that's another, another story. Um, 30 amp ESC is not secured. It's just kind of up against uh, the wall there. Um, it does have cooling that goes in um, around the motor there. Um, not all that much. I may possibly, uh, there, I mean, there's, there's a little bit on either side that goes in, but I might just poke a hole in the foam right there because there's nothing there so that that airflow continues to go in. You got, got, and you got a vent hole in the back. Now, the book does not say anything about, uh, I don't remember it saying anything about elevator settings. So there is, there's my takeoff flaps, and there's my landing flaps, okay? And on, and throttle cut is on, obviously. Now this is on a spectrum, okay? So on the spectrum, for the flaps up, it is negative 100%. For takeoff flaps, I'm gonna try negative 30, negative 30, and then for landing flaps, positive 50. Now, if you watch the elevator, it moves a little bit. Okay, watch that elevator, see it moves a little bit? All right, with the takeoff flaps, I've got 10% down mixed with the elevator, and then with landing flaps, I got 30% down elevator mixed in, and all the flaps are at a two second deployment. All right, um, as far as Expo, I've got 100% throws with 30% Expo all the way around. Now, my antenna on the receiver at 90 degrees from each other. I've already took her out in the driveway, did a range test at 95 feet away. Never, I never lost a single bar. So it's more than, so the receiver tells me it's got a really good uh, signal. Now, as far as the build goes, um, nice bright lights, you know. As far as the build goes, there, I did have to adjust the, the you, you get a supplied um, Allen wrench, okay, however, it is too large to fit in the adjustment for the rudder, which is right there, so I had to get a smaller one and a hex drive some Allen wrench, and that went in there, and that adjusted the, the front nose gear to where it was is a little misaligned. That was not, all you do is unscrew that. Uh, quick keep there. And these the end of these control rods are threaded so there's something for that quick keep to really grab a hold of. So you don't have to worry about that coming undone. And then I got my rudder nice and straight. She tracks nice and straight. Um, then I anchored it back down using the uh, smaller I don't even know what size the small Allen wrench. But you get a They've done, they've done an upgrade, and you get a decent sized Allen wrench. And what they did is, like before, remember I said you had to, uh, they're yeah, really anchor them screws down. Well, on, on the unboxing, you've got these two long, heavy grade machine screws, and this two, uh, two uh, size two hex wrench goes down in there and anchors them suckers down. And when you you keep going down until you see that foam backer just kind of start to buckle in there just a little start squeezing the foam and that's when you want to stop okay you just want to get them nice and anchored down they're nice strong uh, he, uh, big screws and that sucker's on there now um and you see the that here the gyros gyros are working um you have to glue, glue on your antenna there glue on these two um, steps. This is for a pilot would walk up, step there, and then get up into the airplane. Um, you only get three screws with a kit. 
the two big black screws that go in the very, with that hex drive, that go in there, and then you get one longer silver machine screw, and that goes through the front here to uh, hold in your, your nose cone. The back plate goes on, then your prop, then your, then your little washer, then your nut, and then this outer cone goes on, and then this, a screw screws directly into the prop adapter to hold the prop on. You get uh, two props. They are painted, and uh, I found that I had instantaneous, okay, I've got my, my hand away from the prop, uh, motor on, but look at that prop. Love that, that painted, I mean, I get instantaneous response. So I know that my uh, prop is, my DSC is calibrated. I don't have to worry. It's just a good looking little plane. Uh, 1100 millimeter wingspan. The, like I said, the CG is 35 to 45 millimeters back. Oh, be careful with your, you have to hook up these two linkages back here for your rudder and your elevators. You can see mine is, is, is actually broke off there. And that's because I was trying to, I had to, uh, Pull the you know, by screwing it inwards right to tight to line it up with the right hole and I ended up snapping the top of it off so I had no choice but to use the innermost, innermost hole which of course gives me the most deflection and that's okay that's probably what I was going to go for anyways um, the as far as visual trim like I said I only had to adjust the rudder in the elevator by screwing in or out it depends on your model the clevis but there was plenty of room to screw in and out so it had no problem uh, that the uh, hooking up the uh, flaps the, these fowler uh, joints or, or, or hinges are very strong they're in there for this size um, the ailerons were perfect and the ailerons even have uh, supporting uh, carbon fiber I put the uh, hold the foam and I didn't remember, we have a CA hinge that I use, and I used uh, my Rapid Fuse um, for that CA hinge, which you got about 30 sec. You got about 30 seconds for it to hold tight, and then you got about three minutes where it's going to be permanent. So you don't have a whole lot of time. Now, the landing gear just pressure fits in, and then I just filled the channel where the metal touch with that same glue. Also the same glue I use to attach the antenna back here and these two pilot steps. Um, well you saw me put, put the plane together. As soon as I turned the, on the unboxing, basically all I did was crank down those screws, glue, uh, glued in the tail and the, and the rudder, and then I start setting her up with a her, with her radio and receiver. Um, well that's pretty much it. I mean it's a Good looking little plane. I've got it hooked up to my NX-10 here. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get a Maiden very soon. Uh, that, is the, uh, that is the hope anyways. And uh, all right, well there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, oh, she runs a uh, 1300 up to an 1800 is the recommended. Uh, it says 1500 to 1800, but I don't have any 1500s, I've got 13s and I've got 18s. So 13 still um, does fine. I have an 1800 also, and uh, it sees you, I made a little mark there. As you can see where I've got the 1300 right there, and then the 1800 would go up this little mark right here. And, and that's pretty much it. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and then planes. And this is the Cessna, Cessna TTX. Bye-bye.